First of all, I do want to apologize for the fruit flies because there are way too many in this room. I kind of like them. Do you? Um, yeah, it makes it feel more inhabited in here. Well, it's I'm not playing to just you guys, but playing to all the fruit flies. And it's everybody, yeah. yeah. It's everybody. They, they also together. vastly outnumber us, so don't see anything too bad. <laughs> so, um, that song no. was fittingly called uh, Bug in the Sun. Bug in the Sun. Right? So. I knew it, and I unleashed a bunch of fire, uh, not fire fireflies would have been wish. cooler. I know, I'm yeah. into that. Sorry, fruit flies, which are not cool and mm. bite. But anyway, so, so that's all I'm not talk to me a little bit about that, you know, the songwriting process for that. Um, well, it's uh, the chorus is something I wrote a while ago, I mean, like two years ago, and then I kind of lost it. I found it on an old tape, and then I fleshed it back out into a... To a full thing, I don't know. Yeah. And message? The message? What's it, what's it um, about? It's just about, like, I don't know. Uh, well, for me, it's just about, like, me moving on in my life, really, and just, like, you know, you can't really worry about anything because it feels like everything just, like, everything all falls in line and you can't, like, you can't do anything about it. So <clears throat> you might as well just accept it and just. It's kind of how we've been so far. Mm -hmm. Everything has just fallen into, you know, we met each other young and we ended up meeting our management and then our label and then we met you and we're doing this interview. And so it's kind of just how we roll along with everything. You really simplified your career <laughs> really quick. <laughs> that was really quick. Yeah. Um, but, like, talk to me a little bit. Like, I mean, you guys know each other for a long time. So yeah, where'd you meet? Very, where'd yeah. you meet? Where are you from? Um... He was friends with my brother, my older brother, first. Yep. In a little sleepy corner of Connecticut, a suburban area where not much was going on. Where at? It was in Wolcott, which is sandwiched between Waterbury and Hartford, so it's kind of forgotten about. Got and, it. And, except this weekend's the Wolcott Fair. But, yeah, that's good. Um, we met, and there was not much going on, so we decided to, you know, hang out a little bit and just found we had mutual interest in music and songwriting and melody and... It was a small town, so you know what everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. So, like, we knew we were like, well, there's like five people that write songs here. So. <laughs> and you end up gravitating towards each other. And now we live together it's true. in a small all the small apartment in Brooklyn and have a band. And all the people who did write music all knew each other, too. It is like yeah. Well, yeah. totally separate. It's, it's the standard story of growing up, you know, kind of disinterested in everything else, but your friends, and you end up writing songs as uh, kind of escapism. And. These are exactly what we did. You know, our new EP coming out is all escapism, all huge choruses. And it is a good reflection on our past, how Dave and I met and how we feel now. It's 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 the the EP is a real good progress report for us so far. And the EP's out next week and what's it called? Hemlock T. It's coming out on the twenty first. Mm -hmm. On Cantor Records, which is a really supportive label we hooked up with through some friends. It's always through friends. Right. Through friends we got uh, hooked up with the producer of our new EP, Ayad Al Amity from uh, Pat Hazard Pit and Team Spirit, through friends of ours. And he's been a supporter for a long time and really knew like what we were going for. And so he took our uh, roots and like you know the house show boom boxy blown out fuzzed out uh, pop thing that we were doing for a long long time and he ran it through a big studio board yeah put it to the crusher added his <laughs> ideas and that's the EP so I mean has your sound evolved I uh, like you know from when no. you started or have you yeah. always kind of been making like uh, you know well me and Tom uh, like individually we would write like folky stuff because when you write in your room you just have an acoustic guitar and there's no one to bounce off of so like working with someone really helps you expand your style and so I don't think yeah. we really flourished until we started yeah. like until we together. moved to New York yeah yeah before like right as right before we moved to New York we were writing together and everything was really coming together the identity of the band which is displayed on a mixtape released a couple months ago mm -hmm. called Big House Nice Dreams. You can find it on slamdonhue.com. And so this, this Hemlock EP is clear progression. I could see the progression in the band. I don't see it every day. It's like, you know, if you get fat or skinnier, you don't see it in yourself because you notice it every day. But right. listening to the two records back and forth, back oh, yeah. you can tell. There's it's been night and day. Yeah. And plus, it also showcases like a lot of our other stupid genre interests in hip hop and R and B and stuff like that. So, this 
new EP stretches a little further than our mixtape had. Cool. Well, listen, that song was the tits. So cool. thanks for coming. Did. Thank you. Everyone loves tits. That's yes. it's true. <laughs>